work was these were all women in cryptocurrencies that I did at Playa the last time. I've been there three times. And I started doing cryptocurrency the day after Lynn, sorry, I'll back up a little bit. Lynn and I went did this project called Connecting US 20. And we went across Highway 20, 3,365 miles one way from Boston to um, Newport, Oregon. I'm from Newport. And they went to school at a low park residency in Provincetown. And so we stopped at libraries in every state. And then I did a painting, of, a cheesecloth in, of every state. And so it was a traveling art show. I stuck it in all the libraries. And then we take them down and made an art project with people decorating these tubs with this cheesecloth that I had died before we went. And then we took, took photos of that and we had them throw the cheesecloth up in the air and they ran through it, like ran through a rainbow. And took videos of that in slow motion. It so cool. So anyway, <laughs> so I painted these and these were all faces. And then Lynn had cancer and so I was home last year. And like I said, I don't really have much space. So I just did a bunch of um, mushrooms at the top of the faces. So there are faces behind some of them. And oh, the day after, the night of the, um, sorry, the exhibition at Connecting US 20, that night after the opening of a two-year project, we went out to dinner with an old friend of mine that I hadn't seen for decades. And I asked her what was going on, and she said her son was getting rich on this thing called Bitcoin. And so then that was like, okay, well this show's done as of today, you know, because my ex ex exhibition opened. So I started getting into Bitcoin, and it's like, there's this book written that says the MFA is the new MBA, because er, the MFA is the new MBA, because um, nowadays with business, it's so much about creativity. And so you have to think way outside the box. So when I heard about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, it's just like, that makes complete sense to me. You know, it's the future, the future of money. And so I just got really excited about it. And I went on a Bitcoin obsession. <laughs> and I'm still on it. I have a show on that coming up the end of March. And so that's what all these little Bitcoiny things are hanging around. The green ones about Bitcoin, and then all the coin things are hanging around. And then, I started finding pictures on Instagram that I totally love. And so I started asking people, do you care if I draw these your photos for reference for my drawings? And it kind of became like 